When we swim in the sea, there's always a sensation of the unknown, and as you get further out into deeper water, you start to wonder, what is down there? Whoa, whoa. In the depths, lurking below you, watching. Then something brushes against you, and you freak out for a moment before realizing it's just a piece of seaweed. But the sea is not our world, and there are many dangers in the water. Some people have been taken by one of them and never seen again, but others have lived to tell the tale. From the scuba diver who survived a shark attack, to the rubber dinghy savaged by an awesome predator, here's the 15 most ultimate close calls in the sea. Number 15. Shark Attacks Diver Out in the Cayman Islands, this scuba diver was doing some work helping out the natural environment. His job was to spear lionfish, which are an invasive species, and who, without the normal balance of their native ecosystem, are responsible for serious destruction in the delicate waters of the Western Caribbean. It's no easy task dealing with these fish, and it takes a lot of skill, as those spines on the back of the lionfish are venomous and touching one would be seriously painful. 70 feet below the surface, the diver heads into the rocks and takes a hold of a lionfish, which he pulls into his collection net. But as he does so, he clearly feels some pain as we can hear him make a grunt. Turning round, we can see he is facing a shark, which is attacking him, possibly trying to get to the lionfish, which sharks will eat once they are dead. And so they know the divers are a source of food. <laughs> Only this shark seems to be more in the mood to eat the diver himself. Using all his skill, nerve, and calm, the diver then must fight off the shark with only his fishing spear. There is, of course, no hope out swimming the shark, so he must fend it off and then keep it where he can see it, until finally the shark gives up. What an adrenaline rush! And we can be glad both diver and shark escaped with their lives. It's time for the rare topic. They say that parasailing can be dangerous, but they usually mean you could crash into something or get blown off course. This lady, however, seems to have bigger problems than that. The boat ahead of her was pulling her along, trying to get a nice shot of her in this flattering position, having the time of her life when, from out of nowhere, this almighty huge shark breached and went to take a bite out of her. Swinging her legs up, she managed to escape being bitten like some Hollywood action movie star. Rumor has it this shark hangs out near the shore, feeding exclusively on parasailers who drop into its mouth as an easy meal. What do you think about it? As always, comment down below with the hashtag rare topic, and let us know your opinion in relation to what we just showed on screen. Let's move on to the next one, number 14. Great White Attacks Boat off the coast of Mossel Bay, South Africa, in what is known as the Southern Cape, the waters are reputed to be among the most shark-infested in the world. So common are sharks here, including the almighty great white shark, that tourists are attracted to the area for boat tours, hoping to catch sight of the incredible fish. But these German visitors got a little more than just catching sight of a great white. In fact, they had been out looking for something much less ferocious, hoping to see the local seal population, but they got a too real close-up of something far bigger when a great white launched an attack on their rubber boat. Just the kind of boat you do not want to be in when facing a shark attack. The great white tears a hole in the rubber immediately, appearing from nowhere and using its 12-foot long body to tear at the boat, causing the men aboard to get a little nervous, no doubt. The South African tour operator decided the best move was to fire up the motor and beat a hasty retreat before the shark sank the boat, probably having mistaken it for a whale carcass to scavenge upon. It might have been a much worse situation if one of the men had fallen into the water and this hungry shark's mouth. Number 13. Girl Attacked by Manatee you might think the manatee was a kind of sweet-natured, bumbling, cute sea mammal that sings a song so sweet that they are believed to be the foundation of the mermaid myth, as sailors thought they were seeing beautiful fishwomen on the rocks singing to them while combing their hair. Well, you'd be pretty much accurate in that assumption. Not that you'd guess this from the reaction of Caroline Winch of Florida, who went for a swim with the friendly herbivores. Oh my God, my 
who are kind of like the cows of the sea. As far as you can tell from her, it might as well have been a saltwater crocodile in there. In fact, Caroline was convinced that manatees were a shark's cousin, as she put it, and she began to run, thinking of how she would never get to say goodbye to her mom having been mauled to death by a seaweed-eating, chubby mermaid cow thing. One tip for Caroline's friends and family, never take her to a petting zoo unless you want to see another life-or-death escape like this one. Number 12. Great White Surprises Surfer Carolina surfer David Woodward decided to head out for a surf with his new GoPro attached back in April of 2017. The surf was small that day, and Woodward was pretty much all alone in the water or so he thought. As we can see in the video, he paddles out to meet the waves, and then turning we can see an ominous and familiar shape lurking in the onrushing wave. It's a juvenile great white shark, and a juvenile great white is not like a puppy dog. These things can still cause massive damage. Experienced surfer Woodward says he's seen plenty of young great whites out in the water so he wasn't too disturbed. But nonetheless, the experienced surfer decided to make his way out of the shark's neighborhood as quickly as possible. Usually, young great whites are looking around for stingrays to eat, not surfers, but this one seemed to have drawn in close enough to Woodward to be a threat, and there was not much else he could do other than paddle fast and hope he didn't catch a bite. A close call. Number 11. Stingray Stingrays are usually pretty peaceful creatures, unless you accidentally step on one, when these relatives of the sharks will defend themselves by swishing the barb of their tail into whatever is hurting it, which is enough to cause a lot of pain. Or as in the case of famous nature documentary maker Steve Irwin, a freak hit on the chest can actually be fatal. Irwin's death was so unusual, it was only the second recorded stingray fatality in Australia since the Second World War. However, since then, another man, aquarium diver Philip Chan of Singapore, was killed in a manner similar to Irwin while he was diving and cleaning out the aquarium stingray tank. So these people diving with stingrays near the Cayman Islands were not doing so completely risk-free, even if an angry stingray is seriously rare. And the stingray doesn't only have its barbed tail as a weapon but it also has a set of teeth, as this woman discovered when one of the rays gave her a bite, which drew blood. <laughs> Lucky for her, it was only a bite and not a strike with the tail. Number 10. Lionfish Getting up close and personal with lionfish is all part of this diver's job. As we said earlier, these spiny creatures are certainly beautiful to look at, but one touch from those nasty spines can result in serious pain. The venom isn't lethal, but it causes enough pain that you might wish it were. Here we see the diver doing a little cleanup of Florida's coastal waters. Lionfish were first sighted here in the 1980s, north of Miami, and since then their numbers have increased enormously. Normally, nature finds a way to balance out predator and prey, but lionfish do not really have any natural predators in the waters here. And so this combined with their nasty body armor means that they have quickly become a threat to all the other marine life they live with. Researchers are doing all they can to learn as much as possible about these fish so that they can figure out how to try and restore the natural order in the seas here. Until then, divers are going to get a little too close for comfort to these venomous little fish. Number 9. Crocodile Attacks Drone Off the coast of Groot Island, Australia, local man Quentin Roper decided to take his new drone out for a spin back in February of this year. Remember that whole pre-lockdown world? No? Me neither. Things were looking pretty beautiful out that day, and a real sense of calm was in the air, only he notices a massive saltwater crocodile bathing right nearby. Unable to resist the opportunity for a closer look, Roper flew his drone down to inspect the crocodile, and he was surprised to see the giant reptile leap from the water and attempt to snatch the drone from the air as it flew past. The croc didn't quite manage to take it down, but the glancing blow damaged the drone, and Roper knew he had just caught some amazing footage. So he brought the drone back to the boat for a crash landing, managing to avoid losing it in the sea. The croc kept hanging around the boat for a while after, maybe waiting to see how he looked on camera doing his thing, his thing being to leap into the air with jaws of death, snapping shut around anything that comes too close. 
Number 8. Sea Snake Diver and nature photographer Jonathan Bird is famous for his show, Blue World, in which he explores the ocean and its various creatures, and he seems to have almost no fear whatsoever. Approaching these sea snakes, which are some of the most venomous snakes in the world, the venom they carry is more powerful even than their most venomous cousin on the land. But Jonathan knows a thing or two about sea snakes, and he's brave enough to go right over and pick one up. The snakes are pretty calm animals and don't seem to be too bothered about being manhandled, so he's able to take hold of them and even show us the specialized flat tail, which helps them to swim. Furthermore, he's no doubt aware that even if it did bite, injection of the venom is in fact extremely rare, and there have only been two sea snake fatalities since 1935. So these insanely overpowered serpents have the relaxed nature of a creature that knows it could completely destroy you, but is chill enough about it to not need to show it off at every opportunity. Even so, Jonathan Bird is pretty damn brave to go out and pick up an animal that could kill him in a couple of hours if it felt like it. Number 7. Shark Diving Shark diving is an adrenaline-filled but controversial hobby where people suit up and get into the water with some seriously huge sharks, including the tiger, mako, lemon, and great white sharks. These divers use bait to attract sharks and then head into the water to swim with them. Some shark experts say that teaching sharks to associate food with humans disrupts their natural hunting and could also be dangerous for human beings. But the shark divers say they are conservationists, trying to rehabilitate the bad reputation sharks have among humans in many places. However, although it's clear that sharks are not simply cold-hearted killing machines, they do occasionally become curious about these strange humans swimming among them, and a nudge can lead to two nudges, which can sometimes turn into a bite or even a full-on attack. As we can see from this man's heavily scarred legs, when these sharks decide to bite, they are not fooling around, and he can count himself lucky those sharp teeth didn't hit anything vital. Number 6. Box Jellyfish Sail Rock in Thailand is considered one of the best places for diving in the Gulf of Thailand, and it reaches 50 feet above the water, while 150 feet of rock lies below the surface. This provides for a fascinating ecosystem, but sometimes it also includes some pretty dangerous creatures. One of those is the box jellyfish, so called for the cube shape of their medusa. Some species of box jellyfish produce incredibly potent venom, which can certainly be fatal to humans. As we can see in this video, one of the divers is warning the other about this floating death by bleeding like a goat. But the other diver seems pretty relaxed, perhaps unaware of just how nasty those tentacles can be. Or maybe he's confident enough as a diver that he's sure he knows how to avoid them. Either way, this transparent invertebrate is one of the last things you'd hope to meet while out diving, and this guy was more than fortunate not to have made contact with any of those terrifying tentacles. Number 5. Crocodile Manuel Carrera happened to be standing on a bridge which passes over a remote body of water in Cien Ca'an Biosphere Reserve in Mexico. Down below him are perfect waters, being enjoyed by what seems to be a teenage boy out for a swim. However, what the boy doesn't know is that he's sharing the water with a huge crocodile. The people on the bridge panic and shout to the boy to get out of the water, and he begins to swim desperately back to shore. But all the while, the curious croc is closing in. Only going at a cruise speed to begin with, but likely calculating all the time how and when to launch a full-on strike. The tension is almost unbearable as the boy paddles desperately to shore, before finally someone on the bridge, apparently the Mexican Tom Brady, throws what looks like a drinks cooler into the water right ahead of the croc, which gives the big reptile a fright and causes him to turn back, likely saving the boy from one seriously dangerous encounter. Carrera, who took the video, shared it in the hope that tourists would learn to refrain from feeding the wildlife and so encouraging crocodiles to become more curious about humans. He didn't say whether he meant that the tourists should refrain from feeding themselves to the wildlife. 
Number 4. Reef Stonefish The reef stonefish is a seriously badass fish. This is the number one, top of the pile, undisputed most venomous fish in the world and its venom can easily kill a human being. What makes them even more difficult is that they are ambush predators with outstanding camouflage abilities, able to disguise themselves against the reef floor, waiting for an opportunity before striking at incredible speed. Some reef stonefish have been recorded making strikes against the crustaceans, shrimp, and small fish which make up its diet in just 0.015 of a second. So when a diver like the one here heads into their territory, they must be on full alert because stepping on one of these guys is a very bad idea. Almost as bad an idea is going right up close to it and shining a light in its face, seeing if you can get it to move as our diver does, causing it to shuffle along the seabed. But in one quick movement, this stonefish could have left this diver in a state where not just moving becomes a thing of the past, but also breathing. Did he know what he was playing with here? If so, he's either super brave or super stupid. Number 3. Octopus in the waters around Primorsky Krai, in the far east of Russia, a diver found himself in a tangle with a huge purple octopus. At first, it seems like a somewhat friendly greeting, but the octopus is one smart animal and seems to know just how to put this diver in his place. It's all fun and games, and then the octopus uses one of its tentacles to pull out the diver's breathing equipment, while at the same time gripping him around the neck, which seems to put the diver in a panic. He uses his spare arm to peel off the sucking tentacles, but with a camera in his left hand, it's one versus eight in this arm wrestle. And the octopus seems to want to relieve him of his expensive photographic equipment, perhaps with the idea of selling it on eBay later like any other mugger. The diver does what he can to keep hold of his gear, but this octopus has made up his mind. That camera is his for keeps. Number 2. Electric Eels Steve Backshall, like the other famous naturalist Steve, Australia's Steve Irwin, loves to get up close with some of nature's most dangerous creatures. In this video, the animal crazy Brit decides he wants to take a dip in these Amazonian waters which are filled with stingrays, caimans, and the deadly creature he's really looking for, the electric eel. Electric eels live in the rivers of the Amazon and can produce an electrical charge with their bodies that can reach up to 600 volts and is enough to stop the heart of a horse. Their name is misleading as it is not in fact an eel, but a kind of knife fish, which grows to around 7 feet in length. They have special organs in their bodies, which work something like a battery, and allow the electric eel to produce electrical charges, which they use both for sensing the environment and also for stunning and killing. Backshall's camera actually attracts the eels with its own electrical field, and soon several of these strange creatures are swimming up to him, but all it would take is one to hit him with a charge, and things could be pretty rough for Steve. Number 1. Shark Attack Surfer Back in July 2015, Australian surfer Mick Fanning was out in South Africa competing in the J Bay Open Surf Championship and was on top of his game, having made it into the finals. As he was waiting to start up, about four minutes after the start of the final, another competitor showed up and wanted to join in the fun. A great white shark. <laughs> The pro surfer felt something tangle with his board, and then saw the famous fin sticking out of the water. As every surfer's nightmare began, Fanning screamed out and punched the shark in the back, trying to scare it away. And luckily the teeth sank into the board rather than his flesh, but he said he was just waiting for the second bite. Heroically, his fellow finalist, Julian Wilson, swam toward both Fanning and the shark in an attempt to distract it. And after a breathless few seconds, jet skis were deployed and Fanning was pulled from the water in one piece. The brave surfer had no problem admitting he was seriously scared, and with good reason, this being one of the luckiest escapes ever caught on camera. 
Not that he let it stop him. A week later, he was back in the water, doing what he loves. That's all the close calls we have time for in this video. Have you ever encountered something terrifying in the water? Would you jump shirtless into a pool of electric eels or pick up an insanely venomous sea snake for fun? Let us know in the comments below. Also, check out our other cool stuff showing up on screen right now. See you next time!